Yo, we back like we never left. It's because we never left. We've been right here the whole time. We ain't never going nowhere. I don't care if I take a little long to drop a video, but I'm not leaving y'all, bro. I'm right here. You heard? And this year, we're going to turn it up. Trust me, we're going to turn it up. Way up. Up there somewhere. So just hang in there, man. Keep subscribing. Keep doing what y'all been doing. And um, yeah, so I'm going to hit y'all with part two of the last video joint. I'm gonna hit y'all with the with the with the with the downfall of my little summer run cuz that's what it was. It was just a summer run, you know what I'm saying? It was a nice run. It was one of my nicest runs. I had a better I had better runs than that. And when I say runs for whoever don't really understand, I know a lot of y'all know what I mean when I say a run, but for some people that don't understand what I mean when I had a run, like a, a summer run or a two-year run, three-year run, a run is like when you um you know like for instance me I was I was hustling so my run this run I'm talking about started like um in the springtime going into the summer and it ended going into the fall so I had a summer run like that whole summer was my run but there's been longer runs my runs usually all runs like that usually end bad you know they usually end with you getting locked up shit like that so which this run ended like that too. Ended with me getting locked up. So, um, so boom. So where I left off at part one, I said basically I was running it up. I had them three, um, just three customers. The lady from the bar with the coke, and the dude from the diner, and his cousin, the heavy hitters. Them two was the heavy hitters. So, boom. My bro E had called me one time. I was bagging up at the crib. Late night, he called me. He like, yo, where you at? I tell him I'm at the crib bagging up. He like, yo, I got this shorty that I'm dealing with. She got a sister. She said she seen you on the block a few times and she, you know, she wanted, she wants you to pull up. So I'm like, I right, bet I'm pulling up. So um, I pull up to the block. They was on, they was at the gas station on Riverdale, 24 hour gas station for y'all Yonkers heads. Y'all know the gas station I'm talking about. So I pull up on the block. He introduced me to, to Shorty, whatever. So um, that was like the very beginning of my downfall. You heard? Because this is Jezebel that I'm talking about. If y'all, um, for y'all that been following me, this is when I first met Jezebel. You heard? So, um... I meet Jezebel, whatever. It start off good, whatever. You know what I mean? So, I'm ripping and running. I'm making my money. I'm making my sales. You know, I'm riding around. I'm riding around Yonkers just getting money. So, eventually, I start noticing that Jezebel um, was like, kind of like annoyed whenever I would have to dip out. You know what I'm saying? Because, We'd be chilling or whatever, but remember I told y'all these, the lady, her phone calls was all late. Two, three, four, five, six, seven in the morning type of phone calls, right? Because they was up in the bars getting 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 yacked up all, all night. So you got to keep up with them, and that's what I would do. I never would dead a phone call. I don't care if it was six in the morning. I was there. I was pulling up. And that's the reason I was, I guess you could say, successful at this run you know that's why i was able to run it up the way i did so me being a people pleasing fucking sucker ass clown ass nigga which that's exactly what i was when i look back um because you know even though i might sound crazy talking about myself like this but i always told y'all i'm gonna keep it a thousand you know, I'm not only going to, I'm not going to try to sugarcoat shit to make myself look good and shit. No, if I was being a clown, I'm going to tell you I was being a clown. And at this time, I was being a whole entire clown trying to please somebody that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it made no sense. But that's what I did at the time. Um, So, so, to please Jezebel, I guess, and not to have to deal with the you know, the nonsense, which is crazy because it was so early in the fucking, in the joint. 
it was just crazy, son. But I'm so stupid, man. But anyway, um, I start fucking deading the lady's calls, man. Right, the lady from the bar, which is something that I never did. I would either dead her call altogether or just tell her that I'm not around. And you know, that was like unheard of with me. So eventually, didn't take long at all. The phone call stopped from the lady. She just stopped because the fuck, like you ain't the only one with good coke in town. You know what I'm saying? So she just went to the next one. That's it. So eventually I'm calling her like, yo, what's up? And she's dead in my calls now. You heard? So that was done. That that clientele right there was over with. So now I got the two heavy hitters. That's it. Which I'm still doing some good numbers with them though. You know what I'm saying? And they weren't no late night um, do, um phone calls. They were they were all during the day. They would start like around eight, nine o'clock in the morning and just go out, go throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? Once it got like evening time, that's it. They was they was done. But they already have ran up like a rack each a day. You know what I'm saying? So of course this shit can't go on forever. You know what I'm saying? So the nigga from the diner, eventually I don't know, I guess his body couldn't take the shit no more. Cause he was just smoking. He wasn't sleeping. He was just smoking. So I think he had like a breakdown or some shit. And he ended up telling his peoples that he was fucked up on crack, on drugs, and this and that. And plus, he was looking bad anyway. You know what I'm saying? He was looking bad. So they end up shooting him upstate to a rehab. So, boom, that's over with. No more, you know, he's gone. So now I just got that one dude, that one heavy hitter. And I'm trying to, like, cling on to this dude. Like, cling, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep hope alive that this shit is going to keep going into the winter and shit. Which, it, there's no way it couldn't possibly happen because this dude was spending a thousand dollars a day. This dude was smoking like ten grams of crack a day, a day for months. So, eventually, I don't care how good your business is doing, you don't got, you don't even got time to um to take care of your business because he, because look, he had, like I said in the first part, he had his his um his storage. His office and shit had a little warehouse space in Yonkers on Yonkers Ave. That's where he would come, load up his truck, and he would shoot out to Brooklyn, Queens, and do his his um his glass shit. The company he would, he used to have, and he had like two or three workers. When he started smoking, he would just stay in his warehouse all day and smoke all day and just call me, bring me another one, bring me another one, bring me another one. Every phone call was a hundred, no less. Sometimes he would be like, bring me three at a time. That's 300. So that's what he was doing all summer long. Of course, you spending any, you know, he was digging into his savings because he kind of stopped working. You know, he just was smoking. So he was digging into his savings, just running through his savings. The first sign that I knew was about to be over with him, I ain't see the bends no more. The Benz was gone. All I seen was the work truck. So I'm like, damn, this nigga lost his Benz. He couldn't do the payments. Event obviously he couldn't make the payments on that Benz. He was too busy spending that shit on me. On the on the on the drugs, right? So he lose the Benz. The Benz is gone. I asked him a few times, he don't want to talk about it. So I know what it was. He lost it. You know what I'm saying? The shit got repo. So after that, a few like a few weeks later. He don't got the storefront no more either on Yonkers Ave. That's just gone. He couldn't pay it no more. So they fucking evicted him out of there. Now it's over. I know it's over. So now he calling me. He pulling up in the work truck. He's smoking out the work van now. Like still trying to keep up with this. This this this, this addiction is serious, bro. This crack addiction or drug addiction is ugly. But, you know, and and I'm, you know, like, I got a heart. I'm a human being. You know what I'm saying? I know that I'm that that these dudes is destroying their lives. But my fucking my mentality was better better me than the next nigga get it. Cause if I if I don't serve them, the nigga down the block is gonna serve them and and get all that money. So you know, it was crazy. I know it was crazy to think like that, but it was reality too, though. 
if I didn't get it, somebody else was going to get it. So I was like, fuck it. I guess I'll get it. You know what I'm saying? So the shit went on for a little while, probably like September. It was all over. The nigga didn't have nothing left. He was starting to call me for like $50, shit that he never did. And after that, he started asking for credit and shit like that. So I'm like, whoa, like it's over. It felt crazy, but I had to debt him. So he tight. He like, oh, how you going to treat me like this? I fucking spent like over $100,000 with you. And I'm like, fam, that's that's how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't have a... Like, he thought we was friends or something. Like, it's, it sounds crazy, but we wasn't friends. This shit is a business that I'm running. You heard? I would run up on you and, and do all that because you was calling me because, you know, you had money. You know what I'm saying? You, I had something that you needed. That's it. That's all that was. He couldn't understand that. So he was tight. He was, like, really hurt. You know what I'm saying? He was like, oh, I thought we were this and that. And I'm like, no, bro. You thought wrong. Like, you know, once the money runs out, I'm gone. Because what else, what else, what I'm going to stick around for? I can't just feed you free drugs. He couldn't understand that he was tight. He wanted to fight me and all that, bro. So eventually, he gone. So... But actually, before he was fully, fully gone, gone, I got locked up. That was the end of my run. That was officially the end of that summer run that I, that I, you know what I'm saying, that I had. It was a sweet run. It was a nice run. But I made over, I seen, I touched over $100,000 that summer. But I also spent over 100000 that summer too. You know what I'm saying? I had some money put away. I did. But most of it I ran through, which is what we all do in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like I just started running through the running through the paper. So, um, if y'all wanna, if y'all y'all the ones that have been following me from the jump, remember the story, um, the beach chair story when I got pulled over because of beach chair, and they caught the grams in the back of my trunk with the scale and baggies and all that and beach chair. You know that whole joint. I'm gonna see if I put it up on the thing. If, whoever didn't see that story, click on that story. And you'll you'll understand exactly the downfall. Like that was it. I got locked up. I went to jail after that, and that was that. That was the official end of my summer run right there. That beach chair story. So go back to that beach chair story, and that that's the continuation of this story. For y'all who haven't seen it, but for y'all who did see it, y'all know what I'm talking about. That was it. That was the end right there. The, the beginning of the beach chair story is the end of this run right here. You know what I mean? So, there you have it. It was nice while it lasted, but it was over. Of course, I ran it up after that again, but that, but I was fucked up for a minute after that. You know what I mean? Because it was over. I had to sell shit. I had to sell my car to get to get the bail money up and shit. Y'all remember the story. So, um, so yeah, man. I hope y'all liked it. That was my little summer run. So, until next one, I'm going to give y'all another one. I'm not going to let y'all wait too long for the next one. So, yeah, man. I love y'all, man. Until the next one. One.